dear friend welcome to the lecture series in microprocessors and microcontrollers in this video lecture we are going to discuss about the omap processors introduction what is its hardware architecture software architecture and we will be seeing certain applications of the omap processor the omap stands for open multimedia applications platform family developed by texas instruments and it was a series of image and video processors they are proprietary system on chip socs for portable and mobile multimedia applications the omap devices generally include a general purpose arm architecture processor and one or more specialized coprocessors earlier omap variants commonly featured a variant of the texas instruments tms320 series digital signal processor the omap architecture is based on a combination of uh, texas instruments state of the art tms320 c 55x dsp core and high performance arm 925t cpu a risk architecture like arm 925t is well suited uh, for control type code operating system user interface and os applications a dsp uh, is best suited for signal processing applications such as mpeg4 uh, video speech recognition and audio playback the omap architecture combines two processors to gain uh, maximum benefits from each the omap architecture's use of those two processors provides battery life uh, critical mobile applications and power consumption benefits so at the same time it allows the dsp to gain support from the risk processor so here it is the uh, hardware architecture of the omap so the uh, various things that we can see are uh, this is the local bus interface and this is uh, local bus hsa bus and this is mmu here also it is mmu and it is memory interface and uh, uh, these are all the memory interfaces and it is sram sd ram rom ram flash dsp mmu multi port multi channel dma controller and this is the arm 925t core and it is arm 9 tdmi this is i mmu this is d mmu i catch d catch then it is a memory interface and here we have the block as i catch sa ram da ram pd ram and this is lead 3 core and peripheral bridge dsp dma controller api and it is uh, dsp and uh, watchdog timer three timers uart 16 gpio dpll uh, clkm and it is lcd controller and this is uh, arm and uh, watchdog timer and three timers and here it is the test and integration and here it is jtag so uh, these are the block names that were given in the hardware architecture of the omap now let us see how really this omap hardware architecture works the omap hardware architecture shown in the uh, previous figure is designed to uh, maximize the overall system performance of a 3g terminal while minimizing the power consumption this is achieved through the use of a c55x dsp core and arm 925t cpu both the processors utilize an instruction cache to reduce the average access time to instruction memory and eliminate power hungry external accesses in addition both the cores have a memory management unit mmu for virtual to physical memory translation and task to task memory protection the omap core contains two external memory interfaces and one internal memory port the external memory interfaces support direct connection to synchronous drams at up to 100 megahertz and to standard asynchronous memories such as sram flash or burst flash devices the latter interface is typically used for program storage it can be configured as 16 or 32 bits wide the internal memory port allows direct connection to on chip memory such as sram and can be used for frequently access to data such as critical os routines 
or the liquid crystal display LCD frame buffer. This reduces the access time and eliminates costly external accesses. All three interfaces are completely independent and allow concurrent access from either processor or direct memory access DMA unit. The OMAP core also contains numerous interfaces to connect to peripherals or external devices from either the DSP or the general purpose processors GPP. To improve system efficiency, these interfaces also support DMA from each respective processor's DMA unit. So the local bus interface is a high speed, bidirectional, multi-master bus that can be used to connect to external peripherals or additional OMAP based devices in a multi-core product. To support common operating system requirements, the OMAP architecture includes several peripherals like timers, general purpose input output interfaces, a UA, UART and watchdog timers. A color LCD controller is also included to support a direct connection to the LCD panel. The ARM DMA engine contains a dedicated channel that is used to transfer data from the frame buffer to the LCD controller where the frame buffer can be allocated in the SDRAM or internal SRAM. The C55X DSP offers a highly optimized architecture for wireless modem and vocoding applications execution. Corresponding code size and power consumptions are also optimized at system level. The flexible architecture of the Texas Instruments DSP hardware core allows uh, 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 Texas Instruments DSP hardware core allows extension of the core functions for multimedia specific operations. So here uh, we can see uh, it is the architecture of the uh, uh, software architecture of the OMAP and we can also see how really this OMAP architecture works. So the Texas Instruments open multimedia applications platform that is OMAP uh, hardware and software architecture provides the longest battery life for mobile uh, appliances by combining a DSP and a, a RISC uh, processors into a functional, uh, functionally integrated power efficient processing unit. So here uh, we can see various stages. So a, design, uh, a designer programs OMAP's uh, dual processor platform as though addressing a single processor and uh, OMAP uses the standard programming interfaces, APIs for user-friendly application development. And multimedia engines make use of proxies for related DSP tasks in the uh, general purpose processor domain. And the DSP uh, bias bridge coordinates the data, input output streams and uh, DSP task control between the proxies and the actual DSP software. So the OMAP architecture includes an open software infrastructure that supports application development and provides a dynamic upgrade capability for a heterogeneous multiprocessor system design. This infrastructure includes a framework for developing software that targets the system design and APIs for executing software on the target system. The most important function of the DSP BIOS bridge is uh, uh, providing communications between the general purpose processor applications and uh, digital signal processor tasks. The DSP bus bridge API is abstracted from the high level application developers by a set of DLL and drivers that is provided in the development toolkit for the platform. The high level application developer does not require any awareness of the DSP or uh, DSP bus bridge API. The DLL and the driver developers actively use the DSP BIOS Bridge API to initiate and control tasks on the DSP, exchange messages with the DSP, stream data to and from the DSP, and perform the status queries. Although the design initially targets a limited set of operating systems, the underlying architecture facilitates expansion of this list in the future. Standardization and reuse of existing API and application software are the main goals for the open platform architecture, thus allowing extensive reuse of previously developed software and a faster time to market of new software products. Coming to the applications of OMAP multimedia applications, 
we can find the applications in mobile phones we can find in consumer electronics in medical applications in automotives and in multimedia gaming applications industrial automation speech applications and whatever the content that was de delivered in this video lecture are taken from the texas instruments technical white paper hope you got the details about the introduction of the omap processor as well as the hardware architecture the software architecture and few uh, multimedia applications of the omap hope you like this video please do comment share and subscribe my channel for more technical content thanks for watching